Hiwa ombe razi Leo Nisi wakalibisha wangeni Lakini mde kumesha wakalibisha hivyo Ahafu kesho kutu tambulisha Ahafu kasema aje Kipendeza mungu basi Kukua wakati Kwa sabu pia kuna watu mawoku Wanataka kumibia kwa na njimbo zao special Kesho Ibada ya kime tano sa tisa kamiri Tisa na nusu tutaanza sifa hili kukua kusa kwa wengi kumusifu kwaana Jina wakalipo sifa Na Basi kabla wakitienda mbaini wa si Tuombe kwanza matoleo Wafita keti Baba yetu wa mbinguni Mungu mpendwa na mokozi wetu Yesu Kristo Jina wakalipo sifa Na ni mshukuru mdugu yangu kambalage ndiye ametufanya na maya, na sisi na maana tutakutana ndiye ametuunganisha ndiye amekuwa mtu wa katikati yetu kama lage na yeye tulifahamiana kimuujiza tu kwa neema ya Mungu mimi simfahamu kama lage na kama lage halifahamu akakutana tu uko na audio za mahubiri ya redio hata sijaanza kuhubiri kisi FM nadhani ni sijui nilikuwa metro au dira nadhani redio hizo za za huko za kama ya ziwa Kambalage ya kachukua maubili yangu Akawa anazunguka na yo Anawasikilizisha watu Na wadae Tukafamiana Kwa hiyo tangu wakati kutu mependana Kumina kambalage Sizani kama kuna iglisi wa kutosha kutenganisha Na Tumefanya nae kazi bega kwa bega Tangu kulipo wanza kubili kisi ya kuemu kama mkulisikia kuna kanisa alilizaliwa ileje ni kambalage ndi ya hiyo tunganisha na watu na ileje kwa sababu mimi baada ya kulisikia ule diwendo li nipigia simu sasa mimi mbea sifahamu ileje sijui ni kakaaje ni kakaaje ni kasema kuna mtu mwoja nito kambalage aliniambia ni mtu ambea mungu apaliki kwa hiyo ni kakaaje kambalage simu Nikambia kwa nakuna watu wako ileje, wanataka kujugu wa kinani, mizi ambali za ujugu, mbusikia tu, mala moja kwa bati na siku kwenye redio, na kule redio ya siki vizuli, kwa yebu wanza nao, mkwe ya bariki. Kwa hiyo kambalaga ya katembea nao, waka wa shudia, mpaka wa sema mjio ni mtubatize. Kambalaga nae mwonyeshe upenda, waka sema apama, kazi ilianza na Patrick, siwezi kukaa mbele ya picha, ebu, tuwende na Patrick. Kwa hiyo tutaenda ileje na ileje hika patikana kanisa Kwa mshukuru mungu hulia kanisa ndendelea mpaka sasa Lakini kambalage hui hui Hali ya watafutia kwa sabu uwezo kano sisi wako udumia watu wa ileje Nikiwe meta kubani kutoka kupakani mwa malawi Tusingeweza kwa udumia kutokea mwaza Kwa hiyo kama siji chenda za kambalage pia watu kwa wana mungu Lakini kambalage alipambana Akatafuta watu kutoka malawi Hende kwa udumia Mungu wa maliki kwa hiyo huyo ndio kambalage nye mwongea Kini wengi ya mfamu Kambalage kari mwongea Kambalage kari mwongea Aleluya Aleluya Mungu wa mwari Siwa elewe elewe ya Au bado tunasoma na soma na Mungu wa mwari Aleluya Muna amana? Amina Muko tayari? Amina Muko tayari? Amina Muko tayari kumadiriku? Amina Muko tayari kukemewa na buwana? Amina Haleluya Amina Muko wapariki? Amina Kama ni hivyo, basi sasa na mina jisikia vizuri Amina Muko wapariki sana Amina Eee, tuko mwanza Amina Haleluya Amina Sio gopi kusema safari hii munga metutemberea Tanzania Kwa wale ambao mwakua mwafatiria YouTube mwafiri ya Dasalamu wangapa mwakua nafatiria Kumbe mungu we Haleluya Mungu wafari Nabia nasema hivi Wakati mungine kupata jambo rako Shida yako itatuke Mujiza wako Ni namna Unavyo muendea Mungu 
mtazamo na moyo na unyofu na unyenyekevu unapomwendea Bwana. Yaani kwa dada made it possible for us to meet kwamba Mungu amefanya iwezekane kwetu sisi kukutana This is the fourth week I'm out of for fourth weekend I'm away from home Ah uh, hii ni wiki ya nne nikiwa nje ya nyumbani sasa The first weekend I was in Nairobi Ah uh, mwisho wa mwisho wa wiki wa kwanza nilikuwa Nairobi Second weekend I was in Dar es Salaam Wiki ya pili nilikuwa Dar es Salaam. Third weekend I was in Dodoma. Ah uh, wiki ya tatu nilikuwa Dodoma. Yeah. Now this is the fourth weekend. Yeah. Na sasa hii ni wiki ya nne. Well it is like I've moved from the east of Tanzania to the west. Na inaonekana kwamba nimetoka mashariki mwa Tanzania na niko magharibi mwa Tanzania sasa. I was on the on the Indian Ocean now I'm on Lake Victoria. Ilikuwa bahari ya Hindi na sasa niko ziwa Victoria. But I, am, I want to thank God. Lakini napenda kumshukuru Mungu that he has made it possible for me to be here. Kwamba ameifanya iwezekane kwamba mimi niweko mahali hapa. Meeting people that you don't know physically kukutana na watu ambao huwajui kimwili but of course we know one another spiritually because we were together before the world began lakini kwamba tunafuatiana kwa sababu kulikuwa na mambo kabla ya kuweka misingi ya ulimwengu so i was not scared to come to a place where i don't know people physically sikuogopa kuja mahali ambako singe huku ninawafahamu watu kimwili because i know i i, would, I knew that i would meet people i've ever met before the world began na nilijua kwamba ningeweza kukutana na watu ambao sikuwahi kuwafahamu kabla ya kuwekwa misingi kabla ulimwengu haujaanza you know i've been feeling like a little bit ashamed najua nimekuwa kidogo nikijisikia kuaibika that i've traveled around the world kwamba nimezunguka dunia but i had always wanted to be also in tanzania lakini pia nimekuwa nikitamani kuwepo tanzania not because I have some something special to bring. Sorry. Not because I have something special to bring. Kwa sababu nina kitu maalum cha kukuwaleteni. Not because. Si kwa sababu. I have something special to bring. Kwamba nina kitu maalum cha kuleta. But because God is special children are here. Kwa sababu ni kwa sababu kwa watu maalum wa Mungu wako mali hapa. And um, the prophet says na nabi anasema God loved the fellowship so much kwamba Mungu anapenda kushirika sana Amen alipenda kushirika sana until he had to come down every evening to fellowship with Adam alipenda kushirika sana kiasi kwamba ilibidi yeye achuke kila jioni kufanya ushirika na Adam and even when man fell hata pale mwanadamu alipoanguka he had to create a way of connecting him back to his soul ilibidi atengeneze njia ya kurudisha kuwa ushirika pamoja na wanadamu even when it meant dying na hata ilipomaanisha yeye kufa so he really Uh, for his accepting to host us here kwa kuweza kukubalia kuwekwa mali hapa and of course uh, 
maybe you don't know that I had also never met Brother Kambarage. We only had been speaking, they had been they have been inviting me here to Tanzania about ten people. What come kumi? But for the last four years it was not possible. But you know, it is strange. That I have come to Mwanza where I have never been invited. But I have been invited in other places. And the places where I was invited by the pastors before I have not gone there. So it is, it is God's leadership. So I appreciate all the cooperating ministers, my family, my wife, and of course the church. This has been one of the toughest mission trips I've ever made. The devil really fought me not to come to Tanzania. He has caused so much loss, so much pain, even including death. That's like you had I lost my father. And it was not easy. I'm the eldest son in the home. And you were like supposed to be the person to coordinate everything. But I couldn't go back, you know. Now unajua ni sijaweza kwenda because the word doesn't say that. Kwa sababu neno halisemi hivyo. Amen. I couldn't go this word to go back. Ni sijaweza kuiacha kazi ya Mungu na kurudi nyumbani. Although even some ministers thought I should have left to go back. But that's not how I was led. May God bless you so much. Thank you for your prayers. Let's stand up and have a word of prayer. Amen. If you want to be remembered in this prayer, or deliver you from whichever oppression you have, just lift up your hand. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for this afternoon. Lord, you have been with us. And now you have led us together here together. It is my prayer that God much as we are surrounded with noise and music everywhere you come and direct your word to our hearts and speak to us this evening and meet our needs Lord and give us the victory even according to your word of promise in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's turn to our Bibles. Let us turn to Luke chapter 16. And it came to pass um, when God speaks about any condition, everything becomes different. No matter what the opposition is. Then he handed the nine, and he came here, 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 and
katika chumba cha ndani May God bless you Lord Wana na habariki neno lake God bless you Lord May it happen to fight against the children of Israel Wana na habari hadadi alifanya tabia kupigana na wana wa Israel And this time he numbered a very big army kwamba wakati huu alikusanya kundi kubwa and he came and attacked Israel na akaja akiwa na mbinu but they were defeated lakini walishindwa because they spoke very blasphemous words against God kwa sababu walinena maneno ya makufuru kwa Mungu so when they were defeated wakati waliposhindwa they go back walirudi and the commanders na wale makamanda they told the king wakamwambia mfalme they said you see we were defeated unajua tulishindwa because the gods of Israel kwa sababu miungu wa Israeli the Lord God of Israel Mungu bwana Mungu the king Mfalme is saying na anasema because the Syrians have said kwa sababu Ashuru wamesema that I am a god of mountains mama kwamba mimi ni Mungu wa milima and hills na vijilima and not a god of the valleys and the plain kwamba mimi si Mungu wa tambalale pamoja na mabonde therefore hivyo I am going to defeat them again nitaenda kuwashinda tena in other words na kwa maneno mengine i want you to prove them wrong nataka uwathibitie kwamba wamekosea i want you to prove the enemy wrong nataka uwathibitie maadui wamekosea glory to god glory to god utukufu kwa mungu i want you to know na nataka ujue that the little bride kwamba mbibi ya usindo the believers of the world tukiwa na lengo moja to prove that they were a lie kuthibitishia yule adui ni muongo kuthibitisha that our god is mightier than him mungu wetu ana nguvu kuliko yeye we are here to prove tuko hapa kuthibitisha that the bible is true kwamba biblia ni kweli we are here to prove tuko hapa kuthibitisha christianity kwamba mkristo is not dead Mimi ni Mungu every few wa wachache 
Manifestation of God's power. Usiende, usiende katika matihirisho ya mkufu za mungu. There are so many areas that the enemy has restricted us. Kuna mambo, kuna 
mambo mengi sana ambayo shetani ameweza kutufungamanisha tusifikie mahali hapo and we have also accepted in na sisi tumekubaliana na hilo to live below our privileges ka chini ya majaribio yetu what God has purchased for us kile ambacho Mungu amekinunua kwa ajili yetu we are living below it tuna ishi chini yake you see unaona this is really something that we have to resist kitu ambacho hasa tunapaswa kupingana nacho it has become a normal a trend a norm imekuwa ni tabia imekuwa ni mwendelezo mwenendo of all ages katika nyakati zote as it is even today na hata ipo mahali iko leo and it is generally accepted na imekubalika kijumla and it's becoming an accepted abnormality ai imekuwa ni jambo lisilo la kawaida lililokubalika to limit god kumwekea mungu mpaka only to handle kuweza kushughulikia either the smaller weak problems kwa kushughulikia matatizo madogo small issues vitu vidogo or au to limit god only when the doctors and specialists fail then we now remember there is god kuweza tukumwekea mpaka mungu pale ambapo madaktari bingwa wameshindwa ndipo sasa tunaanza kumkumbuka mungu so there are some people hivyo kuna baadhi ya watu who believe god can heal them in headache kwamba malaria mungu ataweza kawaponya flu vichwa kuumwa kichwa malaria mafua but when it comes to cancer lakini inapokuja katika ugonjwa wa uh, diabetes ah uh, kiskari and all these others uh, i think god will not heal me that way na ha kwa wanaposema mungu ninaamini hataweza kunipoya na hizo they allow god to solve some problem ah uh, ruhusu mungu aweze kusurui kutatua baadhi ya mambo but they are not willing to open up all their lives lakini hawataweza kukubali kuweza kufungua mambo yao yote and how are we limiting god na jinsi tunavyoweza kumwekea mungu mpaka even when we come in the ministry na hata tunapokuja katika huduma the devil has been trying to limit us Shetani mara zote amekuwa akijaribu kutuwekea mipaka when i have god wakati ninapokuwa na mungu i don't want god to use this brother here nataka tu mungu amtumie ndugu huyu hapa i don't want and nisitake huyu mungu ndugu huyu you you also na wewe pia how can you claim that god can use you unawezaje kudai kwamba mungu anaweza kutumia i am the only one god can use and mimi tu ndiye ambaye mungu anaweza kanitumia and you think you can put god in your pocket unadhani unaweza ukamweka mungu mfukoni mwako no no you are trying to stop god unajaribu kumpinga mungu we have people kuna watu who can look at the man like that ah ambao wana uso can you look at the brother like that one wanaweza kumtazama ndugu huyo hapo say na kusema does he even have the calling really kweli anao wito when i look at him wakati napomtazama Really call of 
anamtumia he's not even educated yeye hata hajasoma he doesn't even have a good car hata hana gari zuri he has a very small church ana kanisa dogo god mungu kaambie Others dancing, who can what has a wing in a wakicheza, 
and then you are looking with the closed eye una tazama ukiwa na jicho lilofungwa una wanacheza you for you you feel like dancing is a problem kwako wewe unafikiri unajihisi kwamba kucheza ni tatizo others are clapping wengine wanapiga makofi for you you are just doing this kwako wewe unafanya tu namna hii it's like you are god So you do just something like this. Una unafanya tu kitu kama namna hii. While others are singing, wakati wengine wanapokuwa wakiimba, you have closed the mouth. Kwamba kwako wewe umevumba mdomo. And you are just unao kwamba unafanya Ndiyo maana umesikia watu wengi wakimbia 
Kinuka. He's a mighty man. Yeah, yeah, mighty man. Mighty man. Mighty man. Mighty man. Who is the mighty man? Nani mkumku? It's Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he says, Dio, Dio 
sababu anasema I stand on the door Nina simama mlangoni and knock na kupisha and if you open for me na ukinifungulia I will come nitakuja but if you don't open lakini kama hutafungua God will always remain on the door Mungu mara zote atabaki mlangoni because he's a gentleman kwa sababu yeye ni Mungu wangu he's not a door breaker yeye si mvunja mlango he's not a gate crusher yeye si mvunja he lang he remains where you want him to remain yeye hukumu pale ambapo unataka yeye ka but one day lakini siku moja the problems happen wakati ambapo matatizo yatakapotokea and you want him to come from outward outside to come na unataka yeye ka nje aje he will remain outside atabaki nje because you blessed him outside kwa sababu umemfungia kule nje you have limited him umemwekea mpaka you don't want him to come into your internal affairs hutaki ku yeye aje kuingilia mambo yako ya ndani we have ministers kuna wadumu who don't want other pastors ambao hawataki wadumu wengine they don't want the faithful ministry hawataki ile huduma tano takatifu who sent the faithful ministry yeye ni nani aliyetuma zile huduma tano takatifu jesus christ yesu christo he gave alipoa some wengine to be pastors wachungaji evangelists wahubiri teachers why we need prophets one apostles pamoja mitume so when you close the door unapofunga mlango you are closing for who unamfungia nani sitaki kuita mtu yoyote kwa kanisa langu huyo hata ubiri kwa kanisa yangu that one will never preach in my church huyo hata ubiri katika kanisa langu hata ingawa munga anamtumia namna gani sijali sitamuita even if god uses him like hata kama mungu anamtumia namna hii when he performs what miracles hata anafanya muujiza gani no matter how much he preaches haidhuru ana hubiri namna gani i have decided nimeamua i will never work with him sitafanya kazi naye i will never open a door for him sitamfungulia mlango who is using him nani anamtumia jesus yeah. so whom are you closing out of your church uje unamfungia nani katika kanisa lako nje ya kanisa yako e, unamfungia nani nje ya kanisa lako sasa unafungia nani huyo who is that one you close out ni nani unayemfungia nje jesus yes the same jesus yes you will who was going to come in your church ambaye angekuja katika kanisa lako and help your church na kukusaidia kanisa lako you have closed him out umemfungia nje aha aha you don't want to associate with that sis who always rebukes you una hutaki kushirikiana na yule ambaye mara zote amekuwa akikukemea na yule dada ambaye amekuwa akikukemea she she thinks she is more spiritual than others anafikiri kwamba yeye ni wa kiroho kuliko wengine she is always telling me mara zote ananiambia sister You are the dress is transparent. Kwamba dada nguo yako hii inaonekana. You are dress is too tight. Kwamba nguo hii inapana sana. Sister, dada, you don't resp- you don't answer your husband like that. Kwamba upasi kumjibu mume wako namna hiyo. I don't want to work with her. Sitaki kufanya kazi yake. Even when I'm going to church. Hata kama nikiwa naenda kanisa. I will not work with her. Sitataka kutembea naye. When I see her in the group, ninapomuona akiwa katika ya kuni. I either step high believers come to church uje umewahi kuona waamini wakija kanisani and when they go out na wanapotoka nje they are very selective of whom to greet and not wamekuwa wakijibagua ni wapi ambao wangeweza kuwasalimia whom to whom should they embrace what what be ambao wangeweza kumbatiana nao hey that one is my friend ah huyu ni rafiki yangu but the other one lakini mwingine bless you mungu akubariki Who is this one you are avoiding? Huyu ni naye unayemwepuka. And why? Na kwa nini? And if this is Jesus in this bus. Na kama huyu ni Yesu ndani ya huyu mtu. What are you going to do? Utafanya nini? With the little work, the little nut that this sister was supposed to die in your life. Kwamba kwa nut hii ndogo ambayo ingeweza kufunga katika maisha yako. Na ile kazi ilipewa na Mungu mwenyewe. God is the one who gave her that nut to die. Kwamba huyo Mungu ndiye aliyempa ile nut ili iweze kufunga.
Hallelujah. But for you, you have decided to avoid her. Lakini kwako wewe umekusudia kumwepuka. You have a lot of prayer. Whom do I visit? Whom I can't? Wale ambao naweza nikawatembelea wapi ambao ninaweza nikawatembelea? Hallelujah. That's why they call it the miracle wall. Ndio maana wanaoita, wanakiita, wanabiita vita vya ajabu. Vita vya maajabu. What's more nation? fighting the Syrians wakitaka wakipigana na washuru with the Egyptians pamoja na wamisri the Palestinians na wa Palestina the Jordanians na waje wa Jordani and many other countries na nchi mbalimbali but they captured the Golan Heights lakini waliweza kukamata ile milima ya Golan why kwa nini god mungu had to prove in the physical in the physical israel katika israel the fact that kweli kwamba he is a god of everywhere even when the enemy is now on the mountain hata kama adui yuko mlimani and israel is in the valley na kwamba israel yuko kule bondeni they have changed the positions kwamba wale weza ku kubadilishana nafasi you used to say that our God is a God of mountains. Now you are the ones on the mountain. We are the ones in the valley. Sasa no, the wall. And Israel captured even the mountain. And the Syrians na washuru they lost even the mountain hata wakapoteza ile milima they never captured the valley hawakuweza hata kushika yale they never captured the plain hawakuweza hata kushika ile tambarare but even Israel captured the mountain na hata Israel aliweza kuanyanganya ile milima so when you have a god of the mountain na hivi unavyokuwa na mungu wa milima you have a god who deals with the small problems una mungu ambaye anashughulika tu na matatizo madogo when when things are not so bad mambo yanapokuwa si madogo my husband mume wangu because kwa sababu you are now in the valley uko bondeni you are looking at the enemy unatazama the enemy is on the mountain kwamba huyu adui yuko mlimani they have told you you have cancer wamekwambia una saratani yeah 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 now the enemy is on the mountain kwamba adui yuko mlimani you are in the valley uko bondeni cancer saratani saratani nimekwisha nimekwisha I can't win this war. Siwezi kushinda vita hii. Even the doctors can treat it. Kwa sababu hata madaktari hawezi kutibu. Doctor told me kwamba daktari aliniambia I've just a few months to live. Anina miezi michache ya kuishi. Because the devil kwa sababu shetani is on the mountain. Kwa sababu ibilisi adui yuko mlimani. But the God on the mountain. Lakini Mungu wa mfalme wakati mama ya napaharibika hata ya panya ya wesawa the God of the good times mungu wa nyakati nzuri the God of the bad times ni mungu katika nyakati mbaya that's the God we saw huyo ndia mungu tunayem tumikia that's the God of William Brady huyo ndia mungu wa William Brady that's the God
you will climb it. Utampanda because kwa sababu it's a faith mountain. Yeah. It's a faith mountain. Ni mlima wa imani. And you are a believer. Na wewe ni mwaminio. This is of faith of mine. Ni that is of faith of yours. Ile imani ndogo that made you believe this message. Ambayo kufanya waamini ujumbe huu. to suffer like this the man is a beast he doesn't understand always abusing me beating me there's almost no chance that this man can ever believe Yes, that's what you are thinking. That's what you are thinking. One time I was in a country. I had gone to preach meetings. I think it was America. And the pastor who had invited me could not even be able to come and pick me at the airport. Because his granddaughter kwa sababu mjukuu wake wakike was at the point of death alikuwa yuafa the doctors madaktari had discovered there's a lot of fluid in her lungs walikuwa wamegundua kwamba kulikuwa na maji mengi sana katika pafu lake and she was not going to survive na hangeweza kuishi kwa namna yoyote and they had put tubes in the mouth walikuwa wameweka mishipa katika pua zake and they are to rush her for an emergency operation ili bidi wa mkimbize kwenda kupata upasuaji wa dharura and when the brother who picked me told me kati ambapo yule ndugu alipo alinichukua airport aliniambia he said brother ndugu we have meetings beginning tomorrow tuna mikutano itakayoanza kesho but now the pastor lakini sasa mchunga I think his daughter, his granddaughter is dying. Na mimi kwamba yule mjukuu wake yuafa. And everybody was crying. Na kila mtu alikuwa akilia. Pastor cried. Mchungaji analia. The daughter yanawaka analia. Doctor mbe mke wake. Everybody is confused. Kila mmoja amechanganyikiwa. Because the condition the devil is now on the mountain. Kwa sababu hali sasa yule ibilisi yuko mlimani. But I just told the brother. I don't believe that God is surprised. I also don't believe that God would make me travel from Uganda to come to America. And I'm supposed to begin here. And then the devil plants here a death. No. I said, let's go where the child is. Nikasema, hebu twende mahali ambako mtoto alipo. And he said, but will they allow you? Lakini akasema, je, watakuruhusu? Let's 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 I said, let's go and try. Hebu nikasema, hebu twende tujaribu. And we reached the hospital. Na tukafika hospitalini. So the nurses had rushed out. Hivyo manesi wanakimbia hapa to bring the necessary equipment to carry the child. Ah, vifaa kwa ajili ya kubeba huyu kukumbeba huyu so they take her in an emergency vehicle for operation hivyo wakamchukua kumpeleka katika gari ila darura kumpeleka katika upasuaji in another major hospital katika hospitali kubwa nyingine and now I, I sneak in that time na nikajipenyeza and i looked at the child na nikamtazama mtoto she is just on the, on the, the respiration machine alikuwa katika mtambo wa kuvutia pumzi and, and, and she was in that kind of condition. Alikuwa katika hali kama ya muna hiyo. And I said, na nikasema, Lord Jesus, wana Yesu, I said no. Nikasema la, what the devil is doing. Kile ambacho shetana napanya, I speak the word. Nikasmena neno, that we should remove that water, that fluid from our land. Kwamba, kuondoswe yale magi kutoke katika mapafu. And let this girl be free. Na kwamba, binti huyu awe, huru, no. Not in days. Not in days. But in hours. Katika sa. And I went out. Na nikatoka. And they entered. Na akaingia. 
the nurses enter. Now, and they carried the baby. Now, she was a girl of about seven years. And they rushed her in a car. And now I come to Mbiza at Kagari. And they were everybody was chu chu chu. Now, kill a boy and come to chu chu chu. I told the brother, take me. Now, he come and be and do good. My hotel. The perico hotel in Kwangu. So, here you go. When they reached in the middle of the journey, they were busy talking their things there. They turn like this. They see the girl has pulled away the from the nose. Yeah. <laughs> 
I remember I went to Norway one time. Na ninakumbuka nilikwenda Norway. Norway. I was preaching meetings. Nilikuwa nikihubiri mikutano. A summer convention. Ilikuwa ni mkutano wa wakati wa majira ya joto. And, and I, I landed like this. Na nilishuka namna hii. And the pastor's son. Na mtoto wa mchungaji. The host pastor who was hosting me. Yule mchungaji ya nikaribisha. Had just come from the hospital. And they had diagnosed him. With the cancer. Either of the liver or corona, I forget what. And you know, the wife of the boy, the brother was crying. The pastor is shedding tears. Na huyu mtungaji alikuwa akitoka machozi. The mother is crying. Mama analia. The son himself. Mwana kijana wake mwenyewe entered into the house. Nikaingia katika nyumba. And there was a lot of sorrow. Kulikuwa na huzuni nyingi. I told the friends. Nikawaambia marafiki. Our God. Mungu wetu. Can deal with this. Anaweza kushughulika na hili. Can deal with this. Anaweza kushughulika na hili. And I want to tell you. Na ninataka nikwambie when I pray for him, did he just heal him? He healed about seven other cases of cancer. Why? Because there is Cancer is just a name. Cancer is just a name. But it's the devil. Like it is a devil. He will never allow you to be tempted. Hataweza kuruhusu ujaribiwe beyond what you are able. Kuliko katika kile unachokiweza. Let me tell you, nikwambie that most of the sicknesses that come upon us, yale magonjwa mengi yanayotujia, they don't come to kill us. Hayaji kutoa. They come to create an opportunity for a testimony. Yanakuja kutengeneza fursa kwa ajili ya ushuhuda. The prophet says in another message. I think it is the message called God of this evil age. He says, knowledge and civilization. Maarifa na ustarabu and true Christianity na Ukristo kweli has nothing in common. Havina uhusiano. Man is civilization. Uh, and knowledge na maarifa when you put it together with true Christianity na ukiviweka pamoja na Ukristo wa kweli they have nothing in common havina uhusiano civilization ustarabu and true Christianity na Ukristo wa kweli has not one thing in common havina uhusiano hata kidogo Civilization is by knowledge. Ustarabu ni kwa maarifa. We all know that. Tuna wote tunajua hili. And knowledge is from Eden. Na maarifa ni kutoka Eden. Proved it. Yana thibitika by what he that is the devil preached in Eden. Kwa kile ambacho shetani alikihubiri Eden. And knowledge causes death. Maarifa yanasababisha mauti. Amen. Wacha nikueleze. When they tell you that there is a snake in the house, when I come to be a papa, when I knock and dang, you always, you always say, "Na marazote tunasema." Which snake? Knock again. You want to know the time? Unataka ujue aina. So that either you fear, ilikwamba u 
uhofu oh you are not too scared au kwamba haujaogopa sana knowledge maarifa hallelujah i remember one time <laughs> when a snake beat my daughter wakati ambapo nyoka alimuuma binti yangu and she came running alikuja akikimbia baba 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 and then the other woman followed Another woman was following. You are joking. You are joking. So when you begin to fear fear begins to become food for that devil kwamba hiyo hofu inakuwa chakula cha chakula cha yule ibilisi na hiyo pepe na inavimba sasa it keeps now expanding inaendelea kutanuka because you are feeding kwa sababu una hofu by fear kwa hofu that's why the bible says fear has torment kwamba ndio maana biblia inasema hofu inatesa why does it torment you kwa nini inakutesa because it feeds more food it feeds the enemy kwa sababu inamlisha adui and the enemy becomes more strong na ndipo adui anakuwa na nguvu zaidi your faith becomes weaker ndipo imani yako inazidi kudhoofu and you lose the battle ndipo unaposhindwa vita knowledge maarifa you want to know what this is Unataka kujua hiki ni nini? What problem? Uko tatizo gani? Which man wants to kill me? Mtu yupi anataka kunioa? Who is against me? Nani yuko dhidi yangu? You want to know who? Unataka ujue nani? Ndio naana. Sometimes you even speak to us. Can you tell me the people who want to kill me? Ujira hata wakati mwingine unataka kuweza unaweza ukaniambia watu ambao wanataka kuniua? Can you tell me? unaweza ukaniambia so and so so and so friend of friend of friend of friend even so and so is included hata yule mwingine ambaye naye anakusika i am finished oh nimekwisha the problem is matatizo ni knowledge maarifa and knowledge has never been a friend of a believer na ma, na maarifa kama hajawahi kuwa rafiki wa mwaminio Why? Kwa nini? You can be no more eating your food. Unaweza kuwa kawaida ukila chakula chako. Sleeping well. Ukilala vyema. But the day the doctor will tell you. Lakini siku ambayo daktari atakwambia you have got prostate cancer. Una kansa ya tezi dume. Ah. Murudisha hiyo chakula sitakula. <laughs> ujui kwa muda gani umeishi na kansa ya tezi dume. Amen. But now when the doctor tells you wakati ambapo daktari anakwambia wewe umeuna ukimwi wewe ukimwi. 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 Ndio. 
ulipokuwa na mkimwi kwa kwa, kwa damu yako. <laughs> Elen God refuses that. He doesn't want That's not our God. Look at that. What caused the death? Knowledge causes death. Is that right? What caused death in the Garden of Eden? Knowledge. The more educated we become, have money, you have friends, you don't have friends, you should serve your God the same way. Because He's a God, when you are on top of the situation, when you go down in the when you are on the plane, To this. He says, I found God. That God has still got people. Amen. That are so close to God. Amen. That they will worship and serve Him under all circumstances. And the devil has nothing to do again. When you come to the point when you serve your God the same way, Una mali ambapo, unaweza mungu kwa namna ile ile, in all conditions, katika hali zote, and you love Him the same, unakuwa na yule, unapenda, unapenda kwa namna ile ile, in all situations, katika hali zote, and you are happy.
This is just one quote to the prophet says. I was standing there. And my head down. Now, praising God. Where? Wapi? In the rain in the bush. And he's there in the bush by himself. Here he's talking about big rain. Okay. okay. And then he was standing there with now, his, his head down. Now, and the culture. Now, and all his impediments. Now, kila makwazo. Try to hinder God. That God should not freely move in our lives. The Lord, I'm praying in the name of Jesus. Hear your children. The enemy has plagued and afflicted them. The enemy has told them many lies.
kupendwa na kuwa pesa tunakushukuru kwa kuwa umekuwa mwema uja acha kutuonya uja acha kutukemea na uja acha kufundisha na kutuonyesha namna bora ya kuishira kwa nazo bwana umekuwa tabiri mzuri kwetu umekuwa mtoniaji wa Afrika mwili na kwa bwana asante kwa ajili yote ambayo umeenda mali hapa asante kwa ajili ya mwisho wako kwa Mungu wa 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 Mungu